Hey guys, Red Chad here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go to a new CEX I've never been to before in Newmarket. It's quite a small CEX, but I think I got my best retro haul I've ever had from a CEX. So without further ado, let's go. I am outside CEX now. I'm really looking forward to going in this one, and I'm really looking forward to showing you what's inside because this is probably my best CEX stop I've ever had. as you can see it's a little bit awkward to film in CEX uh, looking at condition and stuff but there was a few box games I was looking at here that Starwing was actually unboxed price which is awesome this Dr Mario was complete with the manual and in really really nice condition it actually also had loads of promotional bits and pieces inside as you're about to see there you go there's like loads of posters and stuff I'll show you those when we get back to the game room because I had to grab this one here we have F0, and if I pause it here, this was actually unboxed price as well, at just £8. This was an absolute bargain, I was really, really pleased with this one. Street Fighter 2, this is one that I've wanted in the collection for absolutely ages, and this one was complete with manual and in absolutely immaculate condition, so I could not pass up on this one. I had a considerable voucher to spend, and that was what I was spending part of that voucher on. Here we also have Yoshi's Story, this one sadly didn't have the manual, but it's in such good condition, I couldn't leave it. So as you can see these are the glass cabinets, now I did actually film this after I bought some of the box games so uh, these cabinets are actually going to look a little bit empty uh, but there is a few satin games here which is good, we did actually grab one, of well my dad grabbed one of them because he collects Sega but look at this, very empty because I actually grabbed quite a few box games today, I was really pleased with what I managed to pick up and as you know some of it for unboxed price which is really good to see. Now let's go back to the games room to look at those pickups. So I am back from that CEX and I got some really nice bits as you saw some of. Uh, I did quite a bit of filming in there. Annoyingly I didn't film the glass cabinet before uh, I took the games out of it because some of them were unboxed price and I actually missed out on a couple. They were going so fast they'd only just been taken in so I just wanted to get them and then film. So uh, I got some really nice bits that I'm really looking forward to show you. The first game I've got to show you, this is on the original Game Boy, I've wanted this one for ages, I got it loose. I've just wanted it boxed for ages and that is Dr. Mario. This one is boxed and complete, if I just show you here, it's in really nice condition this box. Here we have the cartridge in its protector. And then, this is like a really cool bit about it, we obviously have the manual. But also inside, it comes with loads of promotional bits, so I'm going to unfold them all and show you, because these are these are too cool not to show. This side, I don't know how well you can see that, we have a Wario promotional bit with some Wario and Mario games. And then this side, we have a Donkey Kong with promotions from all sorts of games. This is really nice, this is. The next thing is a Game Boy promotional thing with loads of games on it, some really good games on here. You'll have to let me know if these uh, actually are supposed to, I don't think these originally came with this game. I'm not sure if they came out of a console box and someone put them in here, but I'm not complaining. Here we have another one. And another one. 
The next game I'm going to show you is the only game on this list that doesn't have a manual, but that was still boxed price. But I couldn't pass this one up just because of the condition of the box was really, really nice. And that is N64 Yoshi's Story. This one I've wanted for ages. Now, like I said, it doesn't have a manual. I won't bother opening it up to show you. This was £30. Oh, the Dr. Mario was £20, by the way. This was £30. I just couldn't pass it up because the condition of the box is so nice. You'll have to let me know if you've played this one before. I've never tried it, but it does look really, really fun. The next game I actually ended up paying unbox price for. There's a couple of games I ended up paying unbox price for. The next game I've got to show you is Star Wing. Now, as you can see from the front, there is a bit of damage there, but it's not too bad. It's this. It's just terrible. But this is only a fiver. And a box SNES game for a fiver, I think, is really good. And the best thing about it, the cartridge is in nice condition. But the best thing about it is it actually has its manual inside as well. Which is awesome. You wouldn't expect that for paying unbox price for a game. So for a fiver, I got the box. Is you know, for something of its age, it's still, you know, in existence. Uh, and I got the manual, and also a really nice cartridge. I thought that was a bargain. And the next thing I got to show you is that exact same game again, Star Wing. This one was twenty two pounds because this one was box price, but this one is in really nice condition. Now this one, like I say, was £22, but it's in such good condition. And this is one that I've wanted to have in good condition for ages. I had it loose for like a long time. But this one, again, cartridge there and then manual behind. I've wanted to have this one in good condition box for ages. So I was really pleased with this one. So I actually now have two box copies of this and three cartridges. But I'm not going to complain as this is actually a really fun game and I really enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know if you enjoyed this one as well. Now, this next game I paid unbox price for. It's going to take a bit of explaining. So, uh, I'll show you what it is first. And that is SNES F-Zero. This is a game that I've played on the SNES Mini a lot of the times. But I've never actually had it physical. So, I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So, in the cabinet, they had one for unbox price. Which is this one for £8. And one that was box price. The one that was box did have its manual. But obviously, it was £35. This one was only £8. But this box is actually in better condition than the one that was box price. It's even still, it's never been opened on this edge. And as you can see, the artwork is still really intact. This is in really nice condition. I will show you inside here. Like I say, inserts fine. Cartridge is in good condition. Just no manual on this one, unfortunately. Next up, this one was box price, but this is in super good condition. And I wanted this one for so long. And that is Street Fighter 2. This is in really good condition. It's even got its original hang tab here. And I'm really looking forward to trying this one. I've played Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but I've not actually played Street Fighter 2 before. Inside we have the cartridge in really good condition. And we also have a SNES insert, which is always nice to find, and a really good condition manual. This is like, it literally has never been opened. So yeah, this is like a brand new manual. Next up we have a loose game for only £1, and that is Columns on the Game Gear. Um, this game is really good, we play this all the time, but because we play it all the time, uh, we my dad has it boxed, but I want to put this one in the box, this is in really good condition. And our copy is a little bit rough, so we'll just use that copy and put this one in the box. The next pickup is a pickup from my dad, because he collects Sega, and that is Worms on the Sega Saturn. This was just £8, and I actually think that's a really good price, as... You know, people love the Worms games, and the Sega Saturn is a really hard console to collect for. This one is, if I can get into it, Saturn games are so hard to get into. Box and complete, the disc is actually in really good condition. Sometimes on these Saturn games, you find that CEX still take them even though they're battered, just because they're like desperate to have them, because they never really get them in. But I thought £8 was a really good price for this game. Next up, we have a bit of a random one, and that is Brave on the PS2. I've never seen this game before, never played it, but for £1.50, I just want to give it a try. This is a game I've had my eye on for quite a while, but it's got quite cheap quite recently, and that is Daxter on the PSP. This one was just £4, and I think this game looks really good. Like I say, I haven't played it, so I can't say much about it. I did pick up a box complete version. I nearly bought this one before, but it was incomplete, so I'm glad I held out for a complete version. Now, as you know, I've got a pretty big Wii U collection, about 75 games now. So if I can find a few cheap games I haven't got to add to the collection that I haven't already got, I will be picking them up. So the first one is Just Dance 2016. This one is just £2, and I like to get these complete if I can. And this one is complete, which is really good to see. Not into the Just Dance games, probably I'm never going to play it to be fair, but this is only £2 and I haven't got this one yet. And the next one is even worse, and that is Sing Party. This is only £1.50, but again, if I can find one I haven't got... Complete in the box for £1.50. I'm obviously going to grab it. And I don't see this game very often, so I was pleased to see this one for one fifty. Just the one charity shop find today. I'll put a picture of that in now.
and that is Animal Crossing Welcome to the City. I have already got this, so I don't really sell games, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it was 25 pence, and it's complete, and the disc is, this disc is in pretty good condition, so for 25p, I couldn't pass that one up. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but again, how are you going to pass it up for 25p? Now, the next charity shop I pick up is a little strange. I'm not going to tell you the location of this place, but I go to a charity shop quite often, and they give me some empty cases quite often. So as you can see, they've given me some empty cases this time. This white one is an actual Wii case as well, which is pretty good. It's always handy to have. But they actually gave me something really, really cool for free as well as that. So a few more empty cases they gave me were these Nintendo Switch cases. Now these are download codes only, but the downloads are still in there. I've got no idea if these are still uh, valid or not. Uh, but yeah, these Switch empty cases, even in the download code only, still have room for cartridges. Um, so for free, I'm going to take these Switch cases and use them. And the last empty case they gave me was actually a bit crazy. Before you ask, I did put a few quid behind the till as a donation. Because uh, this empty case is brilliant. And that is Pokemon Ultra Sun. Now, obviously, just the empty case. Otherwise, they wouldn't have given it to me for free. But inside, it even has its uh, Nintendo inserts, which is really cool. I'm hoping to find a loose copy of this one day so I can put it in this game and get it on the cheap. They had a big box of VHS tapes and I got the Chicken Run VHS tape. My one is in really poor condition, so I'm going to upgrade this one. This was also free and just a big free uh, VHS box, so I was really pleased with this. So thank you for watching this video of probably my best CEX retro haul I've ever had. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and please subscribe. Happy New Year, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!